Hey Vogue, I'm Vienna Sky, and this is my makeup routine. I wish Vogue asked me to do one of these one day. One day Vogue will ask me to do one of these. First, you need breakfast and a cup of English breakfast tea. Now that I have bangs, I have to clip them back. My hair is getting so long, it's crazy. To prep my face, I've been using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops because my best friend Brittany uses these and she really likes them, so I tried it. It definitely does give you a glow. I do two pumps and then I just rub it into my face. Like this, I use as moisturizer, which I think it's what you're supposed to use, or I don't know. Wait for that to like set a little bit. And then I sip on my tea. Also, look at these pajamas that I got. They're so cute. Actually, I don't really know if they're pajamas, but like, I wouldn't wear this out, really. Okay, now that that's said, and I've told you some random things about me, let's go in with the Refi Primer. This feels so good. I've also seen this on TikTok a lot, so I bought it. This is the only thing I have from Refi. I'm doing a full face of makeup, but it's gonna be very light. It's not gonna look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, really. We get a damp beauty blender. Now, it really does make a difference if you dampen it a lot because it like puffs up a lot and it's so much easier to put everything on. I have so many shades of this Lancome Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. It's the best. This one is too light for me, but I finally found the perfect shade. So I put that on. I put it there and there, a little bit of my chin. And then sometimes I do this because I have really red cheeks naturally and this kind of covers the redness and like chisels out my jawbone or cheekbones. So you wanna know me? I went to ballet class yesterday, so today I'm feeling great. I always feel great after I do ballet or like a workout class, which I've literally done one workout class in the past two years maybe, but I did it last Thursday and this t Tuesday. So I'm, I'm doing great so far. But today I'm getting ready because I'm going to a meeting with a designer that my boyfriend and I met um, a couple weeks ago and we are potentially doing something with them and so it's gonna be fun. Except I didn't bring a cute outfit here so I don't know what I'm gonna wear because I feel like I can't show up in something that's not cute. Okay, for foundation, I use one pump and usually that's too much, which is honestly great, but I used to like keep overdoing it and pumping too much in my hand because that looks like not very much but I really don't need that much because I don't like to cover my face too, too much. I just like to reduce some of the redness. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I do have very red cheeks, which I do like, but they're kind of uneven. So this evens them out before I add blush. This is like the perfect color for my skin. Over the summer, I wore it to an event and it came up kind of light in photos, but I think that's because it was summer and I was a little tanner than I am now. So I think like for winter, it's perfect. I recently learned about setting your concealer. Um, and honestly, it's great because my under eyes don't really crease and they're not like glowing because you don't really want this part glow <laughs> because you don't really want this part glowing and like drawing attention to the under eye circles. At least I don't. So I kind of just do a little bit like here, but I still want to be glowy like in the rest of my face. For blush, I love the ColourPop blush, which these are very inexpensive, I'm pretty sure. So if you're looking for a new blush that isn't too much, you should get this one. Any of the shades are nice. I have a few and I just kind of alternate. But right now I'm on like this pinky, pinky blush. And then I go in with this Becca Cosmetics palette, which is from high school, which that's probably disgusting because that's like, seven years ago that's disgusting but i don't really care so i use a little bit of the pink and then i go in with like a little of the like pinky glitter and i just kind of rub it wherever and it gives me just like a nice fresh pink look so i got a pat mcgrath palette oh i literally just got this and it still has the plastic on it um i have been using these two brown colors which they're really good. I haven't really experimented with any other and I don't think today is gonna be the day to do that. I don't know if this actually looks good, but I think it does. I take the blush and I just put a little pink. I feel like the pink kind of looks good with like my dark features. I could be totally wrong and in like three years I look bad and I'm like, why did I always put pink on my eyelids? 
or it looks like I have like irritation or something. I don't really know, but I like it. So we're doing that today. Gucci sent me a bunch of beauty and I've never tried their beauty stuff before. This is the Glow Hydrating Mist. It's such, ugh, it's such a good mist. It feels great. The mist is so fine. It feels very luxury. I'm going to get a refill. Be right back. I'm back. Now for mascara. Actually, I can put my bangs back because I am done. Whoa, I feel like a whole new person now. I need to trim my bangs really badly, but I don't think I have scissors with me. I got a mini eyelash curler from Daiso, I think. No, from Tessa Life. Tessa Life. It's so good because you can do like two individual little clamps and it makes them look so much curlier. And the YSL mascara. This isn't my favorite mascara. It's just the one I'm using right now. I definitely do like it. I don't, I wouldn't really say I have a favorite. So if you have any mascara recommendations, comment them down below. I curl. I don't really go crazy with the curl because I don't need them to be perfect. Then I just put a little bit of mascara on because a long, a lot, a little, oh no. A little of this mascara goes a long way. Except I just got that on my eyelid. Normally I would kind of curl my hair, but I'm feeling like the wave. It looks kind of good. This is my natural hair. I didn't do anything to it actually. And I'm just gonna go with this today. Thanks for watching, bye. Also, Vogue, if you're watching this, I would love to be on one of those videos. <laughs>